cellular history. Sometime during the last 10 years, the cell phone became ordinary. We now take for granted that we can call anyone, anytime, and anywhere. The technology arena has also progressed, from voice to wireless information. Yet the cellular revolution is less than 20 years old. The cellular systems deployed during the first decade of service used digital signals for control, but the voice signal was carried as an analog waveform. But by the late 1980s, this unreliable network was quickly changing. As demand for cell phones increased, 2G carriers continued to improve transmission quality and coverage, but it still had limited data services. 2.5G was introduced in the late 1990s, but still had application restrictions. The wireless internet appeared to be the driving force behind proposals for the third generation or 3G cellular systems. The 3G revolution allowed mobile customers to use audio, graphics, and video applications, although such activities can be severely constrained by network bottlenecks and overusage. With 4G cellular technology capable of data rates of over 100 megabytes per second, 4G networks provide high speed, high capacity, and low cost per bit, while simultaneously accommodating quality of service features. The primary cost is in its cell sites. The land, tower, building, antennas and cables, the control and maintenance equipment, the transmission facilities and backup power, all these lead to cell sites that can cost as much as a million dollars. The high price tag to construct a large number of these sites caused drop calls, loss of coverage, exorbitant roaming charges, and dissatisfied customers. The real payback comes when this business intelligence technology can be applied to enable companies to make better strategic decisions, improve performance, mitigate risk, and sometimes even create new business models. If you have any questions, call us at 855-762-7851. Thank you.